What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. So today, the internet is going to react to Kanye West having to pay $200,000 a month in child support. So this is going to be like a reaction clips for you guys, checking out what other people have to say. And um, you guys let me know what you think, and then we'll come back. Kanye West got to pay Kim Kardashian $200,000 per month for child support. Look, I love the children, but I don't care if you got a village of children. You don't need $200,000 a month. And I get your kids got higher standards than most of the kids. I understand that. But $200,000 in a divorce settlement? You know, it's a settlement. That means Kim was asking for something way more than two hundred thousand. This is what they came down to. It wasn't like Kim said, "I need two hundred thousand. No, Kim probably was asking for a lot more than than two hundred thousand. The kids got to be drinking water from 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 Wakanda every day. The, the kids better have Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, somehow, a young Arnold Schwarzenegger better be the the bodyguards for the kids every day. The kids is eating lobster and and, and whatever that 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 wagyu steak. Every single day for two hundred thousand, it can't be on Forbes magazine every other month, and she she ain't got it like that no more. What, what the hell? What happened? She got more money than him right now. What's up? Kanye West and Kim Kardashian have just settled their divorce and they're going to have equal access to their four children. And Kanye West has to pay Kim Kardashian $200,000 a month in child support because Kanye is still a billionaire and Kim's at one point eight. So I was strolling on Instagram and I happened to see this post where it says Kanye West is ordered to pay Kim Kardashian 200K a month in child support for their four children. So it got me curious and I was like, well, what's Kim Kardashian's net worth if she's going to get two million a year from Kanye? So I find out her net worth is 1.8 billion. So I was like, damn, I didn't know she was worth that much. But I was like, well, let me go back and check to see what uh Kanye's net worth is after all this bull crap that happened to him. And as I was researching that <laughs> man, this article popped up. <laughs> Kanye West fans start GoFundMe pages to restore his billionaire status. <laughs> Several campaigns cropped up on GoFundMe following the news that <laughs> Including one page declaring their goal to make Kanye West a billionaire again. <laughs> GoFundMe seems to have removed the fundraisers, which apparently only reached an earning of five dollars before being taken down. <laughs> I'm fucking done. <laughs> So apparently this was done before because Kanye said that he was 53 million in debt like a year ago. So there's some guy named Jeremy <laughs> launched the GoFundMe and the goal was 53,000 and they got $57,000. <laughs> but <laughs> Kanye's what? <laughs> Kanye West Camp has declined the funds raised by that GoFundMe campaign. <laughs> Yo, I don't understand. <laughs> the man <laughs> uh, Hey guys, if you want to go ahead and set me up a GoFundMe because I'm in like $53 million worth of debt even though I'm a fucking millionaire, go ahead and set one up for me. I won't decline it. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> hey, want to know a secret? Every lawyer has a list of lawyers they hate. And it's going to impact what it's going to cost you to get through your divorce. And I'll tell you why. Because I've got that list of lawyers that, like, I hate. They're the blacklist. I'm not even going to take that case. I'm not dealing with them. I, I, my mental health is too important to me. I've got the therapist. I've got the business coach. I spend a lot of time taking care of myself, at least mentally. If I know the other side's going to be that way, I know it's going to cost more money. I know it's going to make you upset. I know I'm going to get frustrated, burned out, pissed off, angry. It's not worth it to me. Now, there's a level down that's just difficult. That's going to cost more money. 
And then there's a level down where it's like, okay, they're just a good litigator, but generally they're civil, so I can deal with it. And that's a normal way, which this is going to cost. And then there's those lawyers that I get along with, where I'm like, oh, thank God they hired that one. Because I know it's going to go, it'll be professional, but I know we're going to get this job done. They're not going to overbill. They're not going to do all sorts of stupid fishing expeditions. It's going to make the process nicer for everybody. And let's face it, it's a bad situation all around and a little bit of civility and a little bit of niceness can make a bad situation a little more tolerable. But that's one of the reasons why this stuff becomes so expensive because it only takes one asshole to create a shit show. And if that's who your ex has chosen, that's who they've chosen. Now, how soon before Kanye blames everybody else for having to pay child support? How soon does he say that this isn't fair, that he has to pay child support because he's no longer a billionaire, but Kim is, so he shouldn't have to pay child support? But she, is, but she has a kid 80% of the time, and, and um, how many I, kids do they have, four? Mm-hmm. Oh, listen, they have four I kids. agree she should absolutely get child support, but how long before he does a rant saying that it's not fair that he has to pay child support? I mean, cause kids have you know expense. it's coming. You know it's coming, guys. And I don't even want to take it this way because I'm not even trying to go forward tinfoil hat with this thing. But this just kind of looks like phase two of the takedown that they were already on. We, through the stroke of a pen, lowered your net worth. Now we're about to try to stick it to you and get, get, get hard liquid cash out of you. Is this common? I didn't think it was common that in joint custody, one parent had to pay child support. The whole point is that you're sharing equal custody. But after some research, I found out that 80% of cases in the United States with joint custody, 80% of the time, uh, the man ends up having to pay child support. The crazy thing is $200,000 per child. Now, let's talk about child support. I know y'all seeing this, right? I know y'all seeing this. I understand lifestyle. I understand, you know, uh, tax bracket. And all these things comes to play, right? And how much you're making all that. But it seems like the system is just not for men. Why do Kanye got to pay 200K in child support when Kim is also rich? Kim is also a billionaire. Why? Yeah, Kanye West getting hit for 200K a month. Wow. Damn. Security expenses, you know, they on a the high level. They need, the kids need security too, you guys. Uh, yeah, and um, Kim, even though they've got split custody, yeah, Kanye West was right. She's going to have them 80% of the time. What kind of split is that? But let's just put this in perspective, right? And so on one side, you'll have people say, well, $2.4 million a year for four children for a guy that was making over $200 million a year and was scheduled to make over a half a billion dollars a year is reasonable. But then you have to take into consideration, and I don't care how much money you make, I don't care how famous you are, what about how much money she makes? Well, guys, that's my time. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. I'm out.